Good morning. This seems to be the way that I start my vlogs up relatively early. I'm sure there's loads of people up earlier than me, but it's nine o'clock. And um, I'm editing the video from yesterday. I'm, well, I'm actually editing two videos because I filmed another video with um, TGE and the RS7, um, which there's a small feature on in the daily vlog um, that I'm currently editing at the moment, but I haven't got that far. Anyway, today I'm going to be at SB for most of the day. I thought that yesterday, but then ended up being out for most of it, and um, I didn't get any of the stuff that I wanted to done. So I've got a huge to-do list that I need to get working on, get cracking on a few projects and plans that I need to um, try and tap up. Then hopefully I'll have a couple of announcements for you as well regarding this weekend and Wilton House, because uh, a few people have been tweeting me and uh, putting it on Instagram whether I'm going. So hopefully I'll have an answer for you by the end of the day. I just need to organise my car being there um, and it's such late notice it's this Sunday so fingers crossed because I do want to go down there um, and my car was red and gold last time so it's gonna be great this time skipped out blue and I am missing blue as much as everyone else like after the car throttle video I was watching it like with a tear down my eye and I missed the blue so um, <clears throat> yeah blue was cool but I do like the satin grey Currently running the car up to the um, correct oil temperature just so that the car feels like it's being used, feel like it's being loved. I haven't driven it since um, I got the smart car on Monday, so I'm just sort of running the car, running the engine, letting it everything work properly, let everything warm up, because if you don't do that in these sorts of cars, then that's when you start getting problems. So if you drive this car every day over quite long distances, then that's when you're going to have as least problems as possible. Audis are meant to be driven and driven well. So uh, that is exactly what I'm doing as I am hopefully going to be driving this car this weekend down to Wilton House. More on that in a minute. And um, it's boiling in here. It's saying it's 16 degrees outside, which is a lie. But because it's black leather, it's just, um, yeah, really, really hot. Now we're in the final stages of the first video going live. I have not done anything. As you can see, had a shower, got ready for the day. And I still have one more video to edit. Then... The sun is out, so I've strategically dressed in all black for a, no logical reason whatsoever. So I'm going to see how I get on, and if it's too hot out there, then I will come back and change before I go into central London. What a beautiful day for England. This is a good sign. Monday wasn't great for supercars. Tuesday was a little bit busier. Now that the weather is sli slightly getting better towards the end of the week, Wednesday is looking promising for supercars in London. Custom at SB this morning, let's go through the cars. There is a 599, a 430, that is a Lamborghini Jotta, which is currently for sale actually. There's a Ferrari 360 race car and two Dinos down there. F40 here, out the back, or oh, in the car parking space, there's also a Mac Gray 612, which I'm not gonna get any closer to, because it's so big. But that is the trophy car here at the moment. Now, I'm in the office with some jobs to do. I've got to work on the SB race engineering website, which for those that have asked about what I do here, I kind of do a little bit of web stuff, online advertising, and obviously the social media stuff. So I'm gonna do that, then emails. It's so hot. So you won't believe what, um, I've just had an email through from Ford France saying that I got a speeding ticket whilst I was driving down in the south of France. This was on the Friday as we were arriving into Monaco. So we probably just got overexcited and we were 11 kilometers over the speed limit. I mean, how tight is that? I think that's tight, like in England. Do the speed cameras go off if it's that little over the speed limit? Anyway, we got a speeding ticket. So uh, that's what I'm having to do on the laptop now. You can see there. Don't know if you can see it, but a bit of fun. This would not be a vlog without the amazing turning circle of the smart. Oh, there's another smart car. Can it do this though? Here's a road. Now I'm facing the other way. <laughs> I'm on the ice cream run because it's so warm. 21 degrees. Still got more than a half a tank as well. So this trip to London might tick me over half a tank, which has been very good so far. I've been cruising so much in London recently. And I can't wait to do it again tonight. I've seen Instagram. There's a couple of spotters out there. There's Horsepower Hunters. If you haven't checked him out, make sure that you do because his photos are epic. 
and he's in London at the moment. He's seen a Ford GT and a few other supercars, so I'm definitely excited about heading into London tonight. So I've got speed bumps on this road. Let's see how good it is. <laughs> this car's so small. The wheelbase between front and back is hilarious. You're like, you're on a speed bump on both wheels at once and you just go flying. This is hilarious. Uh, these ones have got a little bit in the middle, so I'm able to line the wheels up and not actually go over speed bumps, but that was hilarious. I can't help myself, mini roundabout. <laughs> so today has been a successful today, this afternoon. Look at that view, that is cool with the panoramic roof. Anyway, I've had a cool few email conversations, a few sort of events lining up, which I'm really excited about and you're gonna be coming along with me. They're all happening in June whilst I'm daily vlogging. And uh, fingers crossed as well, there's something like quite, happen quite cool happening that's gonna involve my mobile phone. Now that's like a, a complete sort of, I don't know, I got the email today, so whether that's actually gonna happen or not, who knows, but I'm driving into central London now this afternoon. It was pretty good in the office. I did well with admin. Don't think I'll be getting many speeding tickets in this sort of traffic. I've made it onto Sloan Street and a 458 pulls out in front of me. This is the one that is a resident to Knightsbridge, so I will leave it there. Move on to Harrods and see what else is about. Park Lane was a joke. I've never experienced anything like it. A bus had broken down right at the end and I failed to get it on camera. What a shame. Got a nice RS5 all blacked out, Tesla Model S. What else have we got around here? That was good. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a satin black 2014 Audi R8 with IPE exhausts. I heard that right after I stopped vlogging saying there's no cars around, so that was awesome, and I hope the camera picked that up. I'm now gonna rewatch it and make sure that it did. That was the traffic I was stuck in earlier because of a bus at the bottom has broken down. Quite ridiculous. Look at the tip. This beast is parked up and this is awesome. I'm gonna take a picture on Instagram. From the back it looks stealth. Final update of the vlog today. I'm walking around Lounge Square still with Dimmy and there is a new arrival which isn't as exciting as the P1 that we saw on the Monday. It is, however, a Saudi Rolls Royce Wraith that Dimmy seems to be really excited about. The thing in with London and the supercar spotting communities, it's all about getting that first spot. Yes. So like when a, when a car arrives, if you're that person that sees it first, then like that's just like, you Which win, you win. Paul seems to claim that he gets first spot every time. Yeah, so I, I see a lot of these as cars um, first, so I get first spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably over the years, over like the six years, I've probably still got loads of first spot because back in the day, it was only like me and you spotting, yeah, so. Yeah, sure, so probably. <laughs> What do you reckon to this? So there we go. That is the end of this vlog. And uh, that was the newest arrival in London. Rolls Royce Wraith from Saudi Arabia. Like I said, not the most exciting, but at least they are coming. They're coming in slowly. And like I said earlier in this vlog, that was my prediction that after Ramadan, end of July, August is going to be chaos. So 
I've still got some really cool stuff planned during the day. There's gonna be lots and lots of automotive content coming. This Friday, I'm gonna be at Goodwood, which I'm looking forward to going down. I'm not sure what cars are involved, but that's something that's happening. So make sure that you subscribe, and um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another daily vlog, but also I've edited the high quality RS7 video that I had fun with Dimmy sat in the back um, whilst Tom was driving the RS7, so um, I will probably upload that tomorrow. See you soon.